And so unconditional love is the recognition that the best, the best I can ever do and I can ever ex expect is that today, I love you. That's it. I can only guarantee you today because I'm ever evolving. I'm ever changing. I'm ever growing. And my morals and values and my needs and wants may shift. And that's not a rejection of you. That's an empowerment of me. I'm pursuing the best version of myself, which is loving. Because if I'm pursuing the best version of myself, you have safety. And then you get to wake up each day and go, ooh, do I like the best version of them? Does it align with my morals and values, needs and wants, negotiables and non-negotiables? If it doesn't, then the most loving thing I can say to them is, no. I see that where you're going and who you are, we are going in different directions. And you know what? I love you enough that I'm not going to change me or change you and hold it against you and throw it in your face and have resentment. I'm, and therefore, I'm not going to see it as a rejection of me because it's not about me. It's about you being as authentic as possible. And man, I love that you gave me one, five, 10, 20, 50 years of safety being you. I can trust that. Every day you told me no. Every day you shared your morals and values. Every day when we disagreed, you looked at yourself and realized this is my pain I need to heal. Every day you woke up and you faced the pain from your past. And that gave me safety. And I'm so blessed that I got this one hour or a hundred years of unconditional love from you. That is how you create it. The best we can ever give anyone is today. Nothing more, nothing more. And when we have faith in that, when that becomes our view of unconditional love, we've arrived.